so in this problem i am going to explain the elimination method as well as the penalty approach method the so mainly i am concentrating on uh, make the difference between the gauss elimination method and penalty method because many of the problems we have solved using the gauss elimination method in the pen and this video i will uh, explain what is the penalty approach okay as well as elimination method so here the problem is given uh, uh, with the uh, diagram and the values of e1 uh, e2 is been mentioned and the cross sectional area a1 a2 is mentioned and load is mentioned right you have to calculate uh, the displacement and non displacement okay let me see the diagram okay so here is the diagram So basically in this question the value of E1 and E2 is mentioned and A1, A2 is also mentioned and this is the length L1, L2. So uh, the nodes are connected 1, 2, 3 and both ends are fixed and load is applied at node 2. Say this is element 1 and element 2. Right, hope everything is clear here. Now the for a bar element equation the stiffness matrix equation will be k is equal to it is a e by l and 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so now we are substituting here so this is for the element 1 k1 so here 70 is for the x modulus value and this is for the a1 value and this is l1 so even is taken as 17 to 10 power of 3 even though it is given as 17 to 10 power of 9 because it is given in Newton per meter square okay but you have to convert all the values in the form of Newton per millimeter means all the values are been taken in a millimeter so you have to convert into Newton per millimeter square so e is equal to 70 into 10 power of 9 so to be converted into Newton per millimeter square it means 10 power of minus 6 or to be multiplication so 70 into 10 power of 3 are getting in the newton as well as you have to make in the e2 value also so this is even e2 is also will get 200 into 10 power of 3 newton per millimeter square both you have to substitute here right so finally say this is equation number one similarly we'll go for the equation number two for element two this is e2 and this is a2 by l2 l2 is 400 l1 is 300 and say this is equation number two you will get now after that you have to make the global stiffness matrix it means k is equal to k1 plus k2 you have to make it okay so k1 k2 oh, i have explained in many of the videos i made a separate video on this also how to make the global stiffness matrix the video link i will provide in the description you can just go through the details about this global stiffness matrix i don't want to explain again how to make the global stiffness matrix so the finally we obtain this uh, 10 power of 6 is a common terms in both the values you have taken and we got the 3 into 3 matrix because it is a 3 noded element okay and here are the force vector and you have to write the displacement vector also so generally the formation of the uh, finite element equation is k u is equal to f in this formation you have to write down the equation so k is this one as global stiffness matrix obtained from both adding one and two and here i will write the unknown displacements vector like u1 u2 u3 are the three unknown displacement at each nodes is equal to force vector this is force this is displacement this is k k into u is equal to f in this formation we have to write so after that we have to apply the boundary condition what will be the boundary condition for this problem say u1 u3 are 0 because it's a fixed okay so in the elimination method using the elimination method first i am explaining so if it is fixed so generally we take 0 for the deformation for the fixed supports okay so i am adding the displacement vector 0 here in place of u1 and in place of u3 
zero directly you can take zero and the force are f1 f2 f3 so f1 also it is fixed so there will be reaction forces okay so reaction forces at one let us say r1 and this is for the load applied at two towards the positive direction so it was taken as 200 into 10 power of 3 directly towards uh, right side it will be taken as positive and uh, the reaction supports or reaction force at node 3 is taken as r2 so you can take r2 or r3 anything okay let us write r3 uh, to understand better okay because node 3 so r1 r3 are the reaction supports so from here if u1 is 0 and u3 is 0 their rows and as well as the columns which means this is in the first okay so their first row first column will be eliminated now third row and the third column will be eliminated what will be the remaining this one 0.86 and u2 is equal to force so you can write separately it is here written already you can just check it so 10 power of 6 uh, it is been directly written here into 0.86 into u2 is equal to the force okay now you just substitute this and you will get the value of u2 200 into 10 power of 3 by 0.86 into 10 power of 6 so you get the value of u2 as 0.23255 in millimeter this is the answer if you solve using the elimination method but in case of penalty approach there is a different procedure to solve this problem okay because the mag what is the maximum difference here so you can check here this is the one of the important factor where we have taken u1 and u3 is equal to directly zero right because it is a fixed but in case of penalty approach okay you, you cannot take uh, the fixed end at zero because we are calculating some unknown deformation at one as well as three okay as per the rule for the NL penalty approach there are some uh, what so there are some unknown deformation or there are some values which will be very close to zero not exactly zero okay that is the main uh, values which you have to be understand so how to solve the penalty approach now we'll discuss so from here now it is explained about the penalty approach so we have taken c value here okay you can see let us carry out the same computation using the penalty approach using the suggestion guidelines we have c values so this c value we obtain as 0.8 into 10 power of 10 how okay so c we have to identify first okay c means what this is the maximum of k i j k i j into 10 power of 4 okay so now what is maximum k i j k i j means in this matrix okay we have the we have made right here so from here i will uh, erase this to make you once again only this value you can remove yeah. so from here only i will explain so this is same as k u is equal to f okay this we made as r3 so what we have to do from here now okay from here onwards the steps it will be changing now so here what i have to do first i have to calculate the value of c okay the factor value you have to calculate c can be calculated by from this matrix so you, you just check it in this matrix which is the largest value in this highest value okay so highest value is 0.86 okay so this point x is the maximum value and generally this maximum value you can find out only in the diagonal okay diagonal of the matrix and it will be always positive okay 
so any value you can check 0.86 is the maximum value so maximum value is 0.86 into 10 power of 4 right as i told before c into max kij kij is nothing but it can be any row any columns okay i j any row any now it is second row second column so 0 0.86 into 10 power of 4 okay so this we can just modify here so we can write 86 okay into 10 power of minus 2 again 10 power of 4 so what you are obtaining 86 into 10 power of 2 it means 8600 is the value of c okay so this 8600 just remember the value of c 8600 c is equal to 8600 so this c value to be added with the first row uh, means here with and last column okay first and last we have to add because both are fixed right that's why you have selected this one and this one and now if you add 8600 plus 0.56 and here you got 8600 0.56 in the first column and uh, first row first column and here third row first column uh, it means uh, here we'll get 8600.3 okay this one this two you have to just add with the existing matrix same thing been done here you can check 8600.56 remaining it will be same as usual okay remaining all the this will be as usual only the this two uh, values are been changed okay nothing else after that again this uh, will be same where instead of reaction forces taken as zero zero forces okay now you have to calculate the unknown displacements what are the unknown displacement all three are the unknown displacements here all three okay now you have to make this in the equation form like generally we have to do uh, 10 power of 6 again 8600.56 into u1 minus 0.56 into u2 0 into u3 will be 0 is equal to 0 so say this is equation number 1 again equation 2 again 10 power of 6 0 by 10 power of 6 you will get 0 only okay so final it will be 8600 0.56 okay is equal to 0 equation number 1 similarly we'll do for equation number 2 so this 10 power of 6 will take directly divided by here so we get minus 10 power of 3 finally so i will write the direct equation hope you will understand 0.56 into u1 0.86 into u2 minus 0.3 into u3 is equal to 200 into 10 power of minus 3 equation number 2 now equation number 3 0 into u1 will be 0 and minus 0.3 u2 this one minus 0.3 into u2 lastly 8600.3 u3 is equal to 0 okay 0 by again 10 power of 6 will get 0 so these are the three unknown equation now you have to do with manually or by using your scientific calculator you just go through the two unknown equation oh sorry three unknown equations three unknown equations okay there you have to substitute this as uh, x1 uh, y1 and z1 is equal to c1 so all these three equation if you directly substitute by one by one then finally we are getting the value of u1 u2 and u3 okay and remember the in the elimination method whatever you got u2 you have you will get the same value so i hope you got 0.23 something value you got there how much yeah 0.23255 is the u2 value same answer you will get in the u2 value 
पॉइंट टू थ्री टू डबल फाइव मिलीमीटर ओके एंड लेट अस चेक द वैल्यू ऑफ अनदर थ्री ओके आई विल जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट इन द इक्वेशन जस्ट वेट इन मिनट now in the scientific calculator just enter shift first then enter mode then no first enter the mode first mode then again press if you enter three times then you will get eqn equation then enter one then it will ask you unknowns how many unknowns are there there are two and three options are there now you have to enter three first it will ask you a1 a1 value is Eight thousand six hundred point five six. Next, if you enter the equal symbol, then it will ask B one value. B one value is minus point five six. Again, it will ask U three value. U three value is zero anyhow. It is zero. You have to enter. Now D one value is also zero. Is equal to zero, right? So you have to enter zero. Now we are entering into the second uh, second row. So their A two value is minus point five six. Again enter B two value is point eight six. Again in equal to enter is nothing but equal to. Again value of C two that is minus point three. Again D two is two hundred into ten power of minus three. Again enter. Now A three A three is Minus point three. Even though sign also you have to write down. Sorry, not min. U uh, one value is zero anyhow here, right? Because u one is zero. Yeah, there is no value. U, u uh, sorry, a three is equal to you have to enter zero. Now b three minus point three. Again plus eight thousand six hundred point three. D three is equal to zero. Now, as I told you, we got ah uh, yes, one point five. So here I will write one point five one four into ten per of minus four. Okay, similarly, y value is zero point. Two three two six five. So this is a very close to two six. Okay. So here point two three two six millimeter we obtain. Now u z value is it means u three value is eight point one one five seven into ten power of minus six. Okay. So this is the answer. So here you can check that this value ten uh, power of minus four. It means uh, this is very 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 uh, not very close, but can be say equal to zero, but not exactly zero. Okay, some values. Okay, some value, some small minor deformation it occurs at one as well as three and two. Anyhow, we got the same answer, right? so in this way you have to solve the problems using the penalty approach and thank you for your time and being with me please support